In 1971, America's sweetheart, Betty Crocker, came out with a recipe card library subscription box. These recipes are crazy. You've got things like party sandwich loaf, rainbow sherbet roll, salads from the sea, giant burger, and I'm gonna cook them all. Oh, that's beautiful. Flop back. Uh-oh. Floating in the aspic. Cut around the edge and get a, a good scoop. Just level. <laughs> Good luck in there, buddies. Mm, mm, mm. No. Mm, okay, that's enough with that. <laughs> if you don't know, spoiler alert, Betty Crocker wasn't a real person. She was sort of a character invented by General Mills, fueled by dozens of real home economists in a test kitchen. But for millions of homemakers over the last 100 years, she was very real. She answered hundreds of thousands of letters, had a very popular radio show, taught cooking schools, appeared on TV, and wrote dozens of cookbooks over the century. Time Magazine called her America's first lady of food. Her mission was to teach women how to cook and how to keep a happy home. And I know that doesn't feel like a very feminist 2021 approach anymore. I do love to cook. And I think Betty's mission to share love through food still resonates today. If you look at the recipes in this library, you can tell that Betty just wants to give you the tools to show affection through food, whether it's to your partner, your family, your children, your friends. So that's why I'm cooking every card in this library. I think we'll learn a lot about American culture through the lens of food, but hopefully we'll learn a little bit about ourselves too. So I hope you'll come along for the ride. Happy homemaking.